to my channel. My name is Emma if you are new here and today's video is a thrifting video. I'm so excited for this thrifting video because I have not been thrifting since September of last year of 2023. I used to go thrifting every weekend or every other weekend and I have no idea where the time went but I just haven't thrifted in such a long time so I'm so excited that today I get to go thrifting. Today's mission was to fill a floating shelf that sits in our kitchen above our kitchen sink. I kind of rotate that out for holidays and I have just some neutral decor up there but it's feeling kind of bland and I want to refresh it. I'll put up some inspiration pictures of some of my favorite kitchens that I'm trying to draw inspiration from. It's very much kind of just, I don't know, what you would find in maybe like European homes and like the Cotswolds or cottages. Take what you will from the inspiration pictures, but that's kind of what I'm looking for today. Be sure to click the subscribe button and bell notification so you're notified every time I upload and also go follow me on Instagram if you want to see more real time in the moment clips, posts, what have you. So, I do have a haul today of some pretty great things that have been on my wish list for a long time. So, let's go ahead and get into this thrifting video. That way we can come right back here and stick around for my haul at the very end. great for a personal brownie. You enjoyed coming thrifting with me today but now is the most anticipated time the haul so you can see what all I picked up there are a lot of things that I ended up leaving behind that now looking back at what I videoed I wish I would have grabbed so I may be going back to the first store we went into which is called Southern Mercantile I may be going back in there this weekend to pick up some of the things that I saw that I wanted and did not get. I actually didn't end up getting anything from that store and it's my absolute favorite. Some of their items can be a little bit pricey but I usually end up walking out of there with at least one item but not today. We went into a second store called the Crescent Store I believe it was and I've been wanting some new mixing bowls for a really long time. We only have stainless steel mixing bowls right now which is fine but we've had them for a very long time and they're very scratched up and I really wanted some ceramic mixing bowls for baking and just marinating meats in and things. I actually found these white mixing bowls. It says White Cottage Stoneware Co. Established 1920 on the front of them. And I just loved the color and texture on these. I love that they have the lip. I also ended up picking up the 96 ounce, which this one is obviously a lot bigger. This one would be perfect for putting chicken in and marinating it or marinating shrimp, whatever meat. Um, also prepping, great for baking because of how big it is. It also says White Cottage Stoneware Co. on the front. I don't believe these are vintage, but whenever I Google wins them and tried to look them up online, I did see a set of three going for $85, and I ended up getting both of these bowls for $25. And 
On camera, they look very stark white, but in person, they're more of like a creamy off-white. I have been wanting some mixing bowls like this for a very long time, and I'm so happy to have gotten some on sale for $25 for the pair. That was all that I got from that store. Um, we ended up running out of time, and I didn't get to go to a lot of the stores that I wanted to go to, which is why I want to go again this weekend. I want to get up pretty early on Saturday and just spend an entire day thrifting. But the next place we went to was Goodwill. The specific Goodwill location that we went to, I usually have pretty good luck at. I usually find some really great things there. And again, today I did find some really good pieces that I am so excited for. The first one, I wasn't really sure about. I actually put it back for like a second and then I ran back to the shelf and grabbed it again because I was like, well, it could look cute. And it's like this woven rattan container vase thing. I don't know. It's completely like hollow on the inside. Um, but I feel like I would see this maybe in like Devil kitchens or some other cottages that are based in like the English countryside. My dream would be to have like an English cottage in the countryside that also overlooks the ocean. I have like this image in my mind of what I would want and this would go in that kitchen. Um, my sister, I went thrifting with my sister and she even said we could put a tea light in here and it could light up at night kind of like a little lamp and I thought that was a good idea or a battery operated light or something. Um, but I got this at Goodwill for $1.99. All of their decor was actually $1.99 and for two bucks I felt like I couldn't pass this up because it's just a great filler to put on floating shelves if you have a little empty space and you don't know what to put there or if you want to put something on top of a stack of books something like this would be perfect. Now this next piece I also kind of debated on and I kept putting it back, picking it back up but Again, this one was $1.99, so $2, and I'm actually so happy that I ended up grabbing it because I think it might be my favorite piece of the haul. And it is this glass container, but it looks like a flower on top and from the side. It is just the most stunning and beautiful piece of glassware that I've ever seen. This was the only one there. I don't know, like, there's no name on it, no branding or anything, so I don't really know the history behind it. Um, but I thought this was just so whimsical and would fit with like the feminine girly side of like an English cottage floating shelf situation in a kitchen. But yeah, I just loved this glass container. I love flowers. I even have a tattoo of a flower. And anytime I see something that resembles a flower, flower petal, whatever it is, I feel like I just have to grab it because it, it just tugs on my heart. And I just, yeah, I really love this. It could be practical too. The last item that I got, I was actually very, very excited about and still am excited about. Um, same with the mixing bowls. Whenever I Google lens this, I couldn't really find anything about it. It seemed to be like one of the only ones that existed besides being on eBay or Etsy. But it is this container and it has a cork top. Kind of looks like that. And it is a terracotta from Tuscany salt container. Ideal storage for the table kitchen. And it says it was made by Ceramic Alpha Spa Florence, Italy. That is what it says on it. So it says that it is from Florence, Italy. I absolutely love Italy, so when I saw that it said it's from Florence, Italy, I immediately grabbed it. And whenever I looked inside of this, the person that donated it actually was using it as a salt container. I saw like remnants of salt inside, which I thought that was kind of cool whenever I see something like this that people like actually use the container for what it's for. I know that seems kind of weird, but I just want to use this as decor. I don't think I'm going to put any salt in it because it's a pretty big jar to have out um, on your kitchen counter. Maybe I will. I don't know. But I, I wasn't sure about it because I didn't really like the rooster on the front of it. But because it says it's from Florence, Italy, it was $2 and I felt like I had to pick it up. And even if I get tired of this front part, I can always turn it around, take the cork out, and use it as a planter decor something like that it's very versatile so very very excited to have picked up these three things from goodwill never underestimate goodwill i've been to a lot of flea markets a lot of thrift stores and some of my best finds have actually came from goodwill so 
don't underestimate it. But that is my thrifting haul for today. I hope that you all enjoyed today's video and enjoyed the finds that I picked up. Let me know if you saw anything throughout the video that you think I should go back and get. I really have those black marble uh, candelabra situation things like in the back of my mind. And let me know if you want another thrifting video because I can film my adventure again this weekend and maybe post it like later for another video if you would want to see that. I'm sure I'm going to pick up some things then too. But with that being said, that is my haul. I hope that you all enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell notification down below. And be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're over there. And I will just see you in my next video. Bye guys.